Hello and welcome, Pedal Nerdizzles and Nerdettes. Nerdettes? That's what we're going with? Nerdines, Nerdellas. Okay. I don't know, I can never remember. Nerdines which sounds one like they sardines. <laughs> a welcome uh, to a very special edition of Henning and Kiana sit here and drink coffee. Because you love watching us, I don't know why. Um, I have uh, the very special circumstance. I was going to say pleasure. I don't know if it is a pleasure. Um, I'm in the very special position to have right now at my disposal 13 effects from... How do you say that? Veilton. Veiltone. Valeton. How do you say that? Veilton. Veilton sounds right. Valeton. Valeton. It's very bad. It's a good effect. It's a good effect. Valeton. Yeah, probably. That's, that's, a, probably, that's probably just how it's pronounced. I don't know. Um, yet again, Chinese pedals. And before I go ahead and work with Valetone, <laughs> Veilton? Veilton. Let's go with Veilton. Veilton. Sounds good. Before I go uh, and work with Veilton, and they sent me the pedals, and then I do individual demos for 13 pedals and bore you with it, we're going to go through most of them, maybe all of them. Depends on how long we want to. And uh, I'll let you know what I think. Well, should, should we let them know what I think beforehand? So they can just not watch the whole video? I don't know. Is that, that, that would be fair, I guess. It would only be fair to <laughs> save you the trouble. Okay, here's the deal. It's yet a... Yet a um, it's yet again another Chinese company who went ahead and opened the PDF that apparently is running around in China... They're, they're sending it's, each... I think it's a chain mail. It's a chain mail. It's a Chinese <laughs> chain mail. They're sending to each other. Um, and it's got the uh, circuit boards and the layouts for the same freaking bunch of pedals. It started with... I think Joyo was one of the first companies. Of course, we know Joyo as many different companies. We know them as Harley Benton and Eagle Tone and many different companies that they have been rebranded as, but the that original batch of Joyo pedals is quite old, has been around for quite a while, and we know we love them. Uh, but it kind of started with those, I think. There was also Biyang, the nice chrome pedals, then Moa. Is, is that how we say that? Moa. Is it Mo Moa. Moa? Moa? Moa. Let's just stick with stick with more. More. Okay, we're gonna go with more. <laughs> and um, more has a big range of pedals, and we love the early ones. They kind of changed engineers later, um, and they also had hmm an OCD, a two B screamy kind of thing. They had a rat. They had an undesirable metal distortion. They had all these pedals that other companies had. Coincidence? Coincidence. I think not. And no, really not. <laughs> and then Biang, same thing. They had the Metal Muff, which was the extreme metal from Joyo. And then uh, came, we know that someone from Joyo left Joyo, started Moval. And weird, Moval has an OCD. And well, they actually cloned a couple of other ones, but they also had, I know they had the OCD. And then the engineer... Jay Wong from Moval left. Is it Jay Wong? I think so. Well, how would you know? I'm just playing. How, how would you know? I wouldn't know. So Jay left Moval, started his company, and did exactly the same pedals, those 12 pedals again, with a different layout and a different uh, name, which is layout meaning different graphic, different name, and they're called uh, Tone City. How do I know that? Well, I've got all the Tone City pedals here, I've got all the Moval pedals here, and they are identical except for the color in the name. So, how many more companies do we need from China? There's Donna. Donna is actually just reselling pedals for other people and then said, oh, we, we can do the same thing for cheaper. Now we've got Eno. Eno has a Tube Screamer and an OCD, and they all just released the same pedals again. So the question is, is Valetone, is Velten, Va Va Velten, 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 thank you, is, uh, is that yet again exactly the same batch of Chinese pedals we already know? And is there a difference? I'm going to tell you one thing. One of the first pedals that, the first pedal that started the channel was the Harley Benton Vintage Overton. It's wrong. It's completely wrong. 
all it, right. It, 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 it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Um, is, um, I mean, I can't. Professionals. This is actually the pedal that started my channel, the Harley Benton Ultimate Drive, which is in essence, it's a very, very popular pedal, which is in essence a, supposed to be an OCD. Now, it's very popular, and people, there's, there's tons of uh, AB's uh, videos, which I have done uh, to the original OCD, and OCD Mark 1, 2, 3, who knows. You can find a lot of these videos on YouTube. You haven't seen them. No. And OCD is from Full Tone. It's a very popular pedal. It's a pedal that's supposed to make a sound as if an amp is totally cranked up, meaning the, the power amp is fully, like an amp that's blasting, meaning it's very compressed, it's very flabby, muddy. That's what the power amp will do when it's cranked. Um, and it's supposed to give you that sound, but possibly at a lower volume. And Full Tone has this OCD pedal, which is very popular. Okay? Yeah. So, there's this, then there's the Black Widow from Moval, the something horse from Tone City, uh, the Moore has the, what are they calling this? The riff, uh, the, the hustle drive. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Moore calls it the hustle drive, Velton, Velton calls it the tube refiner. Yeah. Joyo calls it this, then Joyo comes out with uh, the uh, Iron Man series, the really mini pedals, which are cool, and they're calling it the Husky Drive. That's Hus so cute. <laughs> Husky Drive, Hustle Drive, Ultimate Drive, Tube Refiner. You know what? I'm going to tell you right away, they're, they're, they're steel, they're great value. I had the OCD here for a Toman demo. I actually got my hands on the real deal. I did the, de the demo. It is different. It feels different. It plays different. It feels, I cannot tell you, but it's not this. I, that, that's, uh, I'm working for these guys, okay? I am consulting for Joyo, absolutely. And this is a steal for the money, but it doesn't reach the definition and the fun and the enjoyment I had with the OCD. That's all I can say. So anyway, these companies, they all do the same thing. So... I guess we'll just go through them, and whenever we have a pedal here, we're going to openly tell you what it's called from the other companies, and whether it's good or I'm good or I'm There are differences. For example, the Welten, tube screamy kind of pedal. Their tube something vintage overdrive yeah. doesn't cut it for me. The... Joyo vintage overdrive is a classic. It's actually so good that JHS is using it for mods. Um, the green... Green Mile. No, what? the Green Legend. Oh! The Joyo Green Legend... Oops. The Joyo Green Legend Husky... Uh, uh, Husky... <laughs> oh, it's difficult! The Joyo Green Legend is a, an Iron Man pedal, and it's great. Mm. It's as good as the Vintage Overdrive. The Green Mile is more. Yeah. Didn't quite cut it for me as much as the Joyo, so there are differences. But they're all going for the same thing. Now, where are the differences? Could it be a mistake? Could it be a coincidence that they're just having to use different parts? Who knows? There are differences. Some are better, some are worse. Fact is, they're all going for exactly the same batch of pedals because apparently that chain mail has been sent around China. I know that my friends at Joyo are working on a new series, which I can't talk about. I just did, right? Okay, but... They are going a different route. They want to do their own thing. They said, we've learned a lot from doing what we've done, but now it's time that we are Joyo and not anyone else, which is... I also bitched a lot about that, so... Um, maybe they, that. Ma 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 maybe they just try to shut up the bitching and then they just develop their own Probably. pedals now. <laughs> so we're starting here with... <laughs> you want to say the name? Which one is it? The belt? I don't know. No, I can't the, read it. Yeah. I can't ha oh, oh, my. The, um, yeah, the hell flame. The hell flame. What kind of s sign would you have to make with your hands for that pedal? What kind of sign would I have to make with my hands? I would have to... <laughs> and what would you have, what kind of sound would have to come out of you when you do this? If I do this, let me think. Oh, I think I've heard it before. It's a really high-pitched, horribly you, annoying sound. See if you can from. do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's the metal! I can't do it as well as you. 
<laughs> really not. Come Dude, on. Come you're, on. You're, you're better at it. One more time. Right. You ha really have to push. I mean, okay. really. Yeah. Battle! <laughs> oh. I, I Are you a student of mine? Yeah. What? Well, you don't teach that kind of stuff. You always teach, like, stupid guitar stuff no one needs, you know? <laughs> the real important stuff, like that, I don't get to know. <laughs> You can be glad you're not sitting right here now. I think my ears just popped. Oh. And I think the glass over there broke. <laughs> I, I don't do that. So, the hell flame. Sounds beautiful. I'm playing my Purse Modern Eagle 2, because it got lots of different sounds for what's coming, um, into the, the hell flame. <laughs> Why isn't this red or something? Or like red and yellow has actual flames on it. I mean, because it, the flames from hell are apparently if black. You, if you go that way, go all the way. So that, yeah, like pretty flames on it that would yeah, make it so that's much... That's just it's like a flat grey kind of anthracite. Anthracite? Anthracite. I don't know. <laughs> anthracite. Um, the, the hell flame is going into, the, uh, into a fender hot rod which is going downstairs in the basement into a uh, fender hot rod cab, actually. <laughs> Same, same cap, that's the combo he has. Um, like with the uh, Sennheiser E609. Okay, that's okay. what we're doing. No torpedo today. Torpedo studio. Two notes. Way cool, but not today. So. <laughs> It's tight, it's bitey, it's lifeless. What the Veilton or Valetone uh, effects have compared to others, they always have a two-band EQ, which could be something s said to be for them, okay? Uh, at least those, there's four that are different. Um, they are also, we should talk about price. The ones that you see here, that shape and design is about 50 bucks at Toman. Um, and the other ones are about a hundred, so it, it's between 50 and a hundred. <laughs> Bass control going just a little bit too far there. And also in the opposite direction, check this shit out. I think I just made an elephant in Africa throw up. <laughs> Is that much bass? <laughs> Not necessarily someone behind the design of this who's a realistic guitar player with, I don't know, uh, real-life applications in mind. actually not that bad. I mean, for 50 bucks, you, if, if it's your first metal pedal, metal pedal. I like saying that, metal pedal. Sounds beautiful. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's relatively tight. It's not as bad as the Joyo Extreme Metal, which is, what's another word for crap? You know what I mean, that's what it is. Um, so, metal pedals are difficult, because they usually sound like shit. This is not too shabby for 50 bucks if you really want your metal out of a pedal. Okay, moving on. Um, you, wanna, you wanna pick that one? I, I, yeah, we I just go in a completely different direction here. 
Um, yeah, sorry. Can That's I, okay. How do I open? You, do you I put this I away, I take this out. Okay, so I don't get to one. Just get to clean up again. Ah, that's why I'm here. I yeah, see you can't open it yourself. Haha. Ha. Oh, wait. It says open. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, um, takes two people to not read that. Hey, I read it in the end. This is one of the two, let's call them digital petals. I like the color. It is pretty. It's lavender. It's not purple. There is one that's actually purple. This is lavender. You're so gay. And that's bad? You're no, homo- it's you're homophobic? Not. I wasn't trying to insult you. I th- so, so that's a compliment. Just, you're just, so gay as a compliment. It wasn't a compliment. It was just a, a, a yeah, comment, mm, a statement. Mm, yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, Moore has something called the Mod Factory, about 75 bucks, which is a pedal that is digital. It has a lot of modulation effects built in. I think it's a cool idea for people that want to explore the world of modulation. They don't quite know, do I need a chorus, phaser, flanger, vibe? What do all these do? So you have them in one pedal and you get a feel for it. So something, it would be a good, good pedal for Kiana to play around with and get a feel for whether she likes univibes or not. Do you like univibes? I don't know yet. I have to play around that pedal first. Okay. So here we have... Okay, that chorus is just a little bit, little bit much. J chorus. I'm sorry, both choruses unusable. Maybe okay there. Yeah, but not something I would go for. It not. I'm gonna put some reverb from the amp on. That's nice. D tune. Yeah, I'm curious. It's also taking away fullness of the guitar. Do you know? What? Sucks a lot of tone right there. (laughs) Just completely overdone. Okay, then a jet flanger. I just wouldn't know what to play with that. T jet. That, that's not a flanger, that's a crapper. <laughs> okay. B trem. A bias tremolo, it's supposed to be something that you did with tubes back then to make it loud and soft. Right, yeah. I, I assume B trem, what else could it be? Unless that's like a tram for bees, you know, like, a, like a train, say, like, the yeah, train that bees the, get on. A B train. A B, yeah. God, you see, I, a, my, my lameness is rubbing off on you. Oh, seriously, this is not good. <laughs> This is really not good. If we're both thinking B trim <laughs> and then we're both thinking of a train for bees, that's wrong. That's neat. That's not bad. It's actually better than their tremolo, which we're going to get to. Q trim. No, O trim. <laughs> Okay. 
a vibe. I love univibe sounds. Let's see if they nailed it. That's actually not horrible. You have to make cool and look cool funny faces. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scarred for life. <laughs> Not not horrible. That's a ring modulator. I don't like it. No one does. <laughs> I actually do not know what ring modulation is for, except right. on Paranoid. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, Paranoid. The Paranoid solo, you know, Black Sabbath. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm just trying to think okay. of... I, that I, that I solo really actually is played with the ring modulator. Okay. All right. It's very important to have that. Okay. And then there's an echo, which is not modulation, but this thing has a built-in delay, which is probably be the one thing that you would use. So there you go, that's the uh, Coral Mod. Will you buy that? I don't think so, but that might be because I don't have any money. <laughs> no, um, I don't know, there were lots of sounds on there that didn't blow me away. No, that's, uh, mm -mm. Can, uh, cannot really be recommended for someone trying to figure out what modulation they like, because with this, they're gonna decide we don't like modulation. <laughs> Uh, you grab into your bag of grab into your bag of tricks. That's not how you say that. Reach into your bag of tricks. There. And we have the wave shaker. Well, onto a tremolo. Or let's let's stay with tremolo. Let's put it this way. Um, this one I tested earlier. Also nice color. Yes, actually nicer than the lavender. I think. Yes, I believe so too. can tell you right away what the issue with the wave shaker is. It's not shaking too many waves. <laughs> this is everything up centered. This is how much it's vibratoing, a tremoloing. Subtle, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want it any more subtle because otherwise you can just turn it off. So you I have no idea well. why the depth is the depth is halfway up. In this case, what would depth actually do? What does a tremolo do? It. I don't know how to describe it. It makes it like shaky the sound. I don't know. It's like what shaking I mean, is pitch shaking or volume shaking? Um, the volume. Yes. Why actually, this is why this tremolo is labeled wrong. Because this is shaking pitch. This is uh. going pitch up and down. Whereas an actual tremolo would go volume up and down. Big mistake actually in the music gear world. Um, yeah, the volume would go up and down and the depth would be how much it's actually affecting the volume. Mm. Right now we're halfway up and it's very subtle. So any less, any less is just... Nothing. Mm. 
So speed is speed, that's French. <laughs> when Eddie Izzard says it, it's really funny. When I say it, it's not. Hmm. Weird. So the speed at the fastest would go. And now they just let you go way further for reasons we don't understand. Like the bees. So bias would actually, I think, change your waveform. Now smoother. And now more staccato. They should have just written waveform. Yeah, so... For the most subtle of tremolo effects, maybe, but... What do you think? It's not really... It doesn't flash me. I love harmonic tremolos, when there's a little bit of a swoosh in there. I just recently had on the uh, chopping block here the uh, Earthquaker Devices Nightwire. Now that's a tremolo because that also swooshes, it also uh, responds to your pick attack and goes faster and slower, it's dynamic, um, obviously different price range. But... But is the color as pretty? Yes, it was actually sparkly purple. <gasps> <laughs> oh my! And of course, I like Fancy. my I like my flint tremolo, which of course it's driving three hundred fifty bucks. But that that harmonic swooshingness that y it just adds something. Again, for me, not happening. You pack this away. You I give me the next give one. You the next one. Here you go. Which is the coral echo. Again, digital pedal with a lot of options, which we're gonna go through, because we don't care how long this video is gonna be, right? We, we told them that, sh that they should turn it off in the very beginning, right? Exactly. Hey, we warned you. And I'm not gonna write in the very beginning where you have to jump to for what pedal. Uh, I think they can just scroll through it and then look at the colors or something, because that's just gonna be way too much work, which I don't wanna put into this video because I'm lazy. Um, this actually surprised me earlier. Um, it's not really bad, uh, except for one or two settings. But the digital is pretty good. It's a it's a decent digital digital delay. <laughs> so. You could go like, you know, put like a beat on it, and then you got like. It's cool. Analog. Let's do some nice swells. With the volume pedal.
Not too shabby. It's really not, not bad at all. Tape. Trails off differently. Tube is a little bit too tubey. It's supposed to be a little bit distorted, mm -hmm. but obviously it's not to be distorted. It's, it's not. It's not bad. Right. Modulation acceptable with a little bit of chorus on it. Now. We're at Nova, which is where the delays have added that they're going into a different pitch. Problem is that the pitch engine is, uh, what's another word for crappy again? Wow. It's just not doing it right. <laughs> um, what's another word for crappy? So pretty much unusable. All right. Okay, that's what I would say. Um, diner is a dynamic delay. You have no idea what that means, right? Why don't you ask? Why don't you say, Henning, what's a dynamic delay? Yes, please. Kiana. Henning, what's a dynamic delay? Okay, good that you ask. A dynamic delay is uh, one where when you're playing, the delay is being ducked, meaning it's being pushed down by your signal. And so it doesn't come through, so it's not muddying up your playing. As soon as you stop playing in a pause, it comes up. Hmm. It's pre pretty much being done with a sidechain enabled compressor. Just not. Good. So it sounds like this. So it can be cool to <laughs> to not have your delay muddy up while you're playing, yeah. but then comes up underneath. Sweep. When I hear sweep, I'm actually kind of thinking that it fades in. Mm -hmm. What they mean is filter. They should have named it filter. But somehow it's not going back and forth. It's going down, down, and then you have this whoop. <laughs> Sometimes they have this re-trigger in there, which is just not right. Do you hear the cool? Could have been nice, could have been nice. Lo-fi delay, some bit crushing there. Reverse. Doesn't sound like reverse to me, but okay. And then you've got a slap back. Nah. Okay. I would say half of the box pretty great. Mm -hmm. The other half pretty not so. Other word for crappy. <laughs> Another word for crappy. Then again, for I think 75 bucks or maybe, I don't know, something under 100, you get half a good delay. I mean, with a lot of options. Good so, deal. <laughs> yeah, could, it could be worse. Again, I think the, the first three are pretty good. The modulation is nice. The dynamic is good. So, in this case, you kind of get what you pay for, I guess. Kiana, what is next? Let's see what's next. I choose this one. The Tube Refiner Modern Overdrive. Of, of good Deutsch. Huh? OCD. Yeah. In good German. 
OCD. <laughs> You're a master at translation. Yeah. <laughs> um, and who would have thought, hmm, it's kind of whitish. So this is your ultimate drive. This is your Joyo Iron Man Husky drive. Your more hustle, hustle, hustle drive. drive. Your yeah, I don't know the dry others. martini from Tone City. Your Black Widow from Moval, and they are all kind of the same. In this case, you don't have the low high switch, which a lot of them have. Uh, you do have bass and treble control. So as I said, they're doing it slightly differently. Bottom line is it's the same thing again. A very wooly, fat, very saturated kind of overdrive or bordering on distortion. They're all kind of the same. I gotta be honest. I know 180 bucks or something for a real OCD might be a little bit much. Ah, the Husky drive is pretty good. I gotta admit that. The, the Tone City is pretty good too. It's hit or miss. This one's somewhere in between, I think. <laughs> Comparison, but it didn't sweep me off my feet. Yep, it's a little bit muffy. Yeah. Can you say muffy? Muffy. Because muff muffy. is. Muff, muffy, yeah, I think. It, yeah. But... Isn't a muff a tea cozy? What? As well as female genitalia? No comment. You weren't aware of the latter? A muff is a tea cozy, I think. Or the thing that you put over your tea. Pot? Muff. Like earmuffs. That you put on your ears to keep them warm in the winter. And female genitalia. Mm. What Ear do you muffs. think the what do you think muff diver comes from? To be honest, I've never heard that term. Really? It's definitely not a diver that dives with earmuffs. I've never heard that term, so I don't know where it comes from, dude. <laughs> Here. You're watching the wrong movies then. <laughs> really? Yeah. So here we have, what, what does Moore call this? This is the tube, tube engine vintage overdrive. Um, that would be the green mile, right? Yep. Then Joyo has the green legend in the Iron Man series, which is a really cool pedal. Surprise, it's green, actually. Oh, that's weird, yeah. Then Joyo has the vintage overdrive, which we all know and love. That's actually a very good TS clone. We all know that's a TS clone. Um, everyone's got the TS. This is theirs, this time with bass and treble. pick notes. He 
You can definitely hear that clean sound in there a little bit, bit, little bit which is a tooby screamy kind of thing. No. Sorry. No, no, sorry. No. No, sorry. No. Not my kind of thing. Really? No. I, I didn't no. gather that. No. no. Next. Um, this one. This sounds nice. <laughs> it's the, uh, what does Moore call it? Um, the, the, the rage machine. It, it, it's, it's tough to say with them. It could be the rage machine, could be the dark secret, uh, could be the blade, because I got three black pedals. One of them is definitely supposed to be a rat, which Joyo doesn't have. Joyo doesn't have a rat. I, I mean, like rats. No, I'm the pedal. Um, this is pretty clearly supposed to be a rat-type distortion. Do we need one? I don't know. Where does the volume go? It goes away. <laughs> Color, actually. <laughs> the best thing about that is the color. It simply cannot handle its own power. That's that's the problem. If you dial it back a bit. There's uh, no need to uh, investigate any further. Another word for crappy? Another word for crappy is... Uh, I'd say dark tail. Dark tail. <laughs> That's another word for crappy. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just... It, it's generating so much power inside or so much voltage warrant. No, voltage current. Voltage warrant. I don't know about what's happening in these things. I just know that crap's happening in this one. I choose this. That actually wasn't too horrible. First of all, cool color. Oh, I like it. Again, basically. Actually. Yes. Fun fact. Yeah, fun fact. Okay. It's my favorite color, green, not black, because black's not a color. Black's neutral. Oh my god. <laughs> Why don't you wear green then? I actually do. This skirt has green in it, and my favorite pants are green. And it looks like a kilt. Like, no, actually. Kiltish. It's uh, an African school uniform. You, you know, you know what guys think about girls in school uniforms, right? No comment. Because you don't know. I'm no, I'm actually not commenting on this one because this is not going to go any good place. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a fuss, but it's an overdrive fuss. <laughs> And actually, when you tr dial down the treble, it becomes more midzy, which is kind of cool.
like that it's one. Not, it's fuzzy, it's broken, but it's not too broken. And I like the th thing that you can get very aggressive with the high end, but if you dial the high end off, it really pushes off the mid. So it's, it's a flexible fuzz and um, a flavor that I don't necessarily dislike. Let's put it this way. Is that, is that something I can say? Yeah. We um, have one, one more in there. Almost as nice as its color. What is this? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yet again, Joyo Original Series Crunch Distortion. Moa calls it the... Um, it calls it the Cruncher. The Cruncher. Um, <laughs> Iron Man Series Little Blaster. Um, then I'm pretty sure there's an Eno, a Donna, and a everyone else alternative. Bottom line is, it's supposed to be an MI Audio, I think, crunch machine? MI Audio? No, not MI. Whatever. Um, it's a high gainy distortion with a lot, a lot of holes in the bottom end. So it, it's not very fat, but it cuts through a mix and it's a great rock machine. And this one is two. You see, not a lot of bottom end there. Out. It's, it, I like the little blaster. I like the crunch distortion. This is doing pretty much the same thing. So uh, it's always a good pedal, no matter who you buy it from. If you like the Valetone, then get the Valetone. Or, you know, like Velton. They're also good. Oh, Velton's also good. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I haven't checked out the other ones yet. Right. Hand one over. Uh, they are, this. they look different. Oh, the octave. Actually, maybe you give. Uh, let me see. Let me see. What? Um. Well, we'll, we'll test the octave in clean. Oh, okay. So these are cute because <laughs> they're trying to be little boss pedals. <laughs> but but check, turn this. This is actually nice. Like little little oh, riffled, yeah. little riffly. Has a nice grip. Yep. Nice grippy. And it's like. Kind of like a mi mini toy boss pedal, which why they think they have to do that, I don't quite understand. It does look cute though. It does look cute. You want to hear that you look cute, don't you? You automatically assume that I'm fishing for compliments. You, but you were, right? I mean, I, it's not that I don't. I, 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 I wouldn't say no <laughs> if you were giving me a compliment. Exactly, but you know. Hey, this is actually pretty damn cool. I was ignoring what you were saying. Yeah. Nice tracking. So it's obviously not a polyphonic octave, it's a monophonic octave. I don't know what that means. Henning! Yes! What does that mean? It means it, you can only play single notes. Right. You can't play chords. Polyphonic, several notes at the same oh, time. Monophonic, only single notes yeah. at the same time. Oh, there's two octaves. Check this shit out. So direct level, none. So we only have the octave. It's actually doing a good job. Let's get some distortion from the amp. It's probably a bad idea, but I'll do it anyway.
No, this is actually damn cool. <laughs> Moving on, because you gotta go at some point, right? Uh, yes, actually, I have to go now, but let's just ignore that fact. Here. This is cute, you put this away. Yes, um, this one. Um, the Analog Chorus. Hey, that was impressive, actually. I like that nice one. tracking, two octaves, uh, cool. These are neat, I mean, it's, it's kind of re really lame that they're very clearly trying to be a mini boss pedal, um, instead of trying to do their own thing, but... But it looks so cute! It does. And they, they feel... They feel very good. They feel high endy. Mm. Why is this... There we go. Even with the CH-10, they're re it's really trying to be a boss clone. I mean, it's not even... They're not even hiding it. Yeah, why? <laughs> Kind of lame, uh, but I mean, hey, if it works. Actually, I have to admit, both Boss Cory, the five, the three, the, the CH1, I don't know, I had them here, uh, didn't necessarily do it for me. They were not my cup of tea, they were too subtle. This is nice. I mean, big thumbs up, analog chorus from Valetone. Or Velton, they're good too. Yeah, hey, Velton's good too, yeah, okay. I have to test them. Uh, in the box, by the way, kind of lame, in the box only rubber. Okay, no, this also has Velcro? What the fuck? Alright. This is weird. All of them in the box had the big thing in rubber, but not Velcro. All of them. No Velcro. So, this has one in here, but it's way too small, and I'm wondering... Did that get in here? No, it's also too small for this. Hmm, oh, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, but what pedal is this for? Because <laughs> it's clearly not made for this. I don't know. So that's weird. So in all the boxes, you could find a rubber adhesive, not a Velcro adhesive, and a little um, manual. Yeah, these little boss things, on the other hand, these are, bo these are, these are 100 bucks. Okay, so... Um, they do feel good. And they look cute, as yes. you pointed out. Um, OD10. I mean, so, so clearly a boss. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Not even a tone on it, just level and drive. <laughs> Well, it's one of those where the clean sound comes through, so it's to be screamy, but uh, too much, too, too much. So, no, not, not quite for me. I like this color. And the last one is the FET preamp. Don't, don't make a joke about this. I'm working on it, okay? It's all the creamer I had during the winter. <laughs> Low cut, bass, treble. Okay, there's no drive. So what is this? Curious, curious. Ooh. 
It's a lot of Leville. I guess we're going to use it as a boost because it doesn't drive anything. So... I guess it's a, a boost that doesn't really flash me too much. It's nice, green, nice and green. It's a nice color. Yeah. But yeah. We'll just leave that there. Okay. Um, so, there you go. I think we've said everything we need to say. Yeah. 13 pedals in an hour. It's all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, a valeton there. Or velton, you or know. Or velton, you know. They're also good. They're also good. <laughs> Um, uh, thanks to Kiana for hanging out again and drinking my coffee and talking about uh, Welten or Valetone, Valetone uh, from way, way east of Italy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and some hit, some miss, some nah, and you get exactly the same ones from pretty much any other Chinese company. I would dare to say some of them better. I love the little bossy looking ones the yes. octave hello yeah that was pretty good and half of the delay pretty good <laughs> half the delay uh we let her go thanks for watching uh flippity flop see so there is actually a flippity flop i saw a thing about a flippity flop and uh, i'm gonna look up what the flippity flop is because i actually now think there is something called the flippity flop and we're gonna find out what it is i'm honestly so confused right now but okay i always say see you on the flippity flop I think I have to go. Yeah, now. go, go, run. Bye bye. <laughs>